love the country. Well, I prefer the town. Mm -hmm. When we put our heads together, we're the best combination around. Emily and Alexander, we're really quite a pair. Wherever there's adventure, you'll find these two cousins there. We like to visit relatives. Oh, and making friends is fun. Yep, excitement seems to find us. And city mouse, we're really quite a pair. Wherever there's adventure, you'll find these two cousins there. Country mouse and city mouse. Here it is, the island of Crete. Right here. In the Mediterranean, Cousin Nico sounded very excited about our visit. That's because he has something wonderful to show us. The ancient ruins of the Palace of Gnosis. I didn't know you were interested in archaeology, Alexander. My dear Emily, deep down, there is an archaeologist in me struggling to get out. <laughs> I can hardly wait to meet him. <laughs> Isn't that charming? I love to visit these simple countries. They are so quaint. Emily, not so fast. Oh, whoa! <laughs> ah, a mouse! Help! Hang on! Just wish it were the same with my luggage. Well, you know what they say, Alexander. You win some, you lose some. Emily, Alexander, I'm so glad you are here. Cousin Nikos, you seem worried. Is something wrong? Elepame, please come mm -hmm. quickly. There's trouble at the excavation site. Priceless artifacts keep disappearing. It's a mystery. Every time they find something, it disappears soon after. What are these treasures? Gold or diamonds? No, it is things like pottery vases and small ceramic figurines. Oh, well, they're nice too. We oh. love to solve mysteries, Nikos. Let's go. Huh? What could it be? Oh, no, it can't be them. Emily and Alexander again? Are those annoying little mice following me? Stealing the old stuff at the excavation site and selling it to rat collectors is the best keeper I've ever had. I won't let them ruin everything. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got a way to stop them. Hey, you! The moving carpet! What do you call a cat? Who is as slow as you? A catnapper! <laughs> I'm a genius. Look out! Cat attack! Come with me! What? Hey, Gata! 
Mr. Cat, I'm here. Aristo. Thank you, Costas. Home, Gata. <coughs> Leave my friends alone, little Gata. <coughs> my dear cousins, this is my best friend, Costas. I live in his home. Welcome to Crete. We're sure glad you came by. If these mice mess up my plans, they'll be sorry they ever set paw on this island. This is incredible. The Palace of Knossos, the center of civilization 4,000 years ago. My patera, my father, is working at the excavation site with other people of the village to uncover priceless objects. But lately, the artifacts have been disappearing, and we still don't know why. No! I cannot believe it! More treasures have disappeared! Spiros! Spiros, where are you? Who's that? That's Arthur Evans, a British archaeologist. He leads the excavation. He is so rich, he bought all the land around the palace. For archaeologists like Mr. Evans, those objects are priceless because it helps them to learn how people lived in the past. Mr. Evans, come quick! We found a big bull's head sculpture! Lead on, I'm right behind you. Pamek, come on. Let's see this new discovery. Ha! Maybe inside I'll find a way to get rid of those meddling mice for good. Here we are. Tell us, Costas, what is the legend of this palace? It's a story as old as the place itself. Once upon a time, there was a king named Minos, the most powerful ruler of Crete who held the Minotaur, a monster half-bull, half-man, in a labyrinth beneath the palace. A labyrinth is a giant maze where once you get in, it's almost impossible to get out. The Minotaur lived in the center of it. Minos was a ruthless man, and he ordered that every nine years, 14 young men and women must be thrown in the labyrinth to satisfy the hunger of the Minotaur. One of the young men about to be sent was Theseus. He met Minos' daughter, Ariadne, and they fell in love with each other. Before Theseus entered the labyrinth, Ariadne gave him a spool of thread, which he tied to a column and unrolled to mark his path. When Theseus met the Minotaur, they became locked in a long and ferocious battle. Theseus defeated the Minotaur, and by following the thread, came easily out of the labyrinth. Theseus and Ariadne fled to Athens, while Minos, Crushed by sorrow, watched his daughter leave him forever. Oh, these legends. A minotaur. Half bull, half man. I don't believe it. I'd like you, goody Alexander, to run into that minotaur one day. Ah, the minotaur! It's alive! Watch out! I... I thought the minotaur was a legend. How could it be alive? Well... Let's see for ourselves. Couldn't we, uh, just take their word for it? <gasps> oh! What's that? Right there! Teta! Look! It's the Minotaur! Ah! <laughs> Minotaur? Well, that can't be. It's a legend. It, it, it must have been an illusion. Everyone's afraid of a little shadow, huh? Very interesting. And a roar. Well, it must be the wind going through the corridors. We will continue the excavation. 
I'm sorry, Mr. Evans, but we don't want to go back inside the palace. Not with that monster living there. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, Minotaur or not, we must find what's happening to my artifacts. Now, wait a second. Where's the foreman? Where's Spiros? I don't know. He's not here. He always seems to be away when something disappears. Maybe he has something to do with it. He's talking about Patera, my father. He has access to everything on the site. Send Spiros to see me as soon as he gets back. My father is not a thief. He loves the artifacts and everything that is Cretan. It seems that the only way Mr. Evans will be convinced... ...is if we find what is really happening to the treasures from the palace. Will you help us, Nikos? Nay. You won't help us? Of course I will. I said nay. Doesn't nay mean no? No. In Greek, nay means yes. And no is ochi. Oh, I see. No, ochi. Oh, Greek is a beautiful language, but it gives me a splitting headache. Why don't we begin our investigation tomorrow? It's getting dark and we're all tired and hungry. Here, my friends, it's an herbal tea made with ingredients found on Crete. Chamomile, linden, a bit of mint, and for taste, a tad of lemon zest. It will help you sleep tonight. After seeing that monster, we surely need it. Thank you. It tastes wonderful. Good night, Costas. Don't stay up too late. Patera, you'll never believe what Mr. Evans said about you. He thinks you stole the artifacts. I know, I know. Don't worry, Mr. Evans has a lot on his mind. I'm sure everything will be fine. But where were you? They were looking all over for you. I had many things to do. Good night. Lately, my father seems unhappy and very preoccupied. I would be too if I was wrongly suspected like he is. Well, it's too early to sleep now. What should we do? I have an idea. Let's make shadows. Costas and I do this all the time. Nah, that's a great idea. Look, it's a rabbit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, now, my turn. Meow, meow. I'm a gata. Phew, I can't stand cats, even in pictures. Don't worry about that. I'll take care of the cat. Woof, woof, woof. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> if someone is stealing the artifacts, he must have left a clue. We found nothing but endless corridors and rubble. Maybe we should check outside. Don't despair too quickly. Look. Hmm. Interesting. This is without a doubt a print left by a rat. And where there are rat prints, there's a rat. Usually up to no good. Excellent deduction, my dear Emily. Let's see if we can find this rat. It's them, those pesky mice. Well, I have a little trick that'll get rid of them for good. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> oh, no! It's the Minotaur! Quick, run! Wait! Look closely at the shadow. It's shrinking. It's too small to be a real bull. Quick, pretend you're running away. Wait for me at the next corner. Fantastic! It's not the Minotaur. It's a rat. A rat with no tail. That's no Minotaur. It's the rat. It's no tail, no good, Nick. The most famous no good rat in the world. So he's been scaring everyone so he could rob the treasures. He won't get away with this. I know what to do. plan is working better than I thought. Those mice are scared by a shadow. They are so pitiful. Congratulations. 
imitations, Nikos. Your cat imitations sounded very convincing. That dirty rat. He has a lot to answer to. We better not go after him. The labyrinth is down that way. It's a very complicated maze, and it has not yet been mapped. No tail could be lost there for quite a long time. We hope. <laughs> and there you have it. Mystery solved. I can't wait to tell Father and Mr. Evans. Now we know it was a rotten rat who has been stealing the artifacts. How can it be? The bull's head sculpture has been stolen. The finest piece of all. Gone! That big bull sculpture? That sculpture's too heavy for No-Tail to steal. Then if No-Tail didn't take it, who did? This is unacceptable. You're the foreman. And you're responsible for the safety of my artifacts. Your artifacts. Your excavation. It's always about you. Those treasures belong to Crete. Spiros, where were you when the bull sculpture was stolen? Hmm? Every time something disappears, you're not here. Can you explain? No. Then you're fired. Fine. Oi! No! Father, why didn't you defend yourself? I do not like him. How can he keep for himself what rightly belongs to our people? This is terrible. I don't understand what's going on. Now Mr. Evans and your father are at each other's throats. And we are back where we started. Someone other than No-Tail is taking artifacts and we have no idea who it is. Who could have stolen the bull's head sculpture? Oh, oh, oh. Alexander! Alexander, are you okay? Good thing we city mice huh, are a tough lot. Hmm. Wait a minute. By my whiskers, the artifacts, they're all here. The Minotaur! Costas, how could... Let me explain. Mr. Evans is... Mr. Evans? Oh, no, he must not see this. We have to put them back. I know. I will scare away the people in the palace, and you can put all the objects back where they were. No, wait. Don't. Come on, you two. Help me up. Take my hands. Pull, Nikos. Pull. Thank you. Costas is going to get in trouble. Come on! Come on. I just need a little clue. A footprint. A thread. Anything. Oh, no. Not again. Isn't that peculiar? Aha! <clears throat> Marvelous. I finally caught the little thief who took my treasures. No, Mr. Evans. I'm the one who took your artifacts. You see, Costas, Mr. Evans owns the palace, including all the objects that come with it. I could not bear to see these incredible objects taken away from Crete. Our homeland. I used the myth of the Minotaur to scare people, so the treasures would not be taken away. Spiros, I... I'm shocked. I know. I betrayed your trust. No, I'm shocked because I don't want to keep the artifacts. I bought the land so I could excavate the site my own way, for the thrill of discovery. But the palace and all the objects are to be handed over to the Cretan people. To whom they rightfully belong. I should have made that clear before. I'm sorry. I did not like being a thief. I just wanted to protect my people's heritage. Now, 
I will go to the police. You really care about the antiquities, don't you? Very much. Then I have an idea. Spiros, perhaps you could be the curator of the museum where the treasures will be kept. Me? Yay! Marvelous! Emily, Alexander, thank you again for your help. We're just glad that the Minotaur is gone and the excavation site is busy again. Costa says they're even starting to excavate the labyrinth. The labyrinth? Nortel might still be stuck in there. Tuh, I'd rather not even think about that rascal. I've got to get out of here. I hope this is an exit. Oh. <laughs> no, no, why me? That's our boat. Goodbye, Nikos. Yes, us cousins. Come back soon. I hope there will be no mice this time. Ah! Oh, dear. <laughs> 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 I'll never forget our visit to Crete, seeing Nikos and meeting Kostas. And the Minotaur! <gasps> or actually, the Mousator! <laughs> <laughs> Funny, Emily. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs>